We can have different opinions about Cody Rhodes. We can have different opinions about him finishing the story and when that's appropriate, where that's appropriate, who it would be appropriate to do that against. That's the name of the game, right? It's entertainment. We have different tastes. We have different perspectives. And we can take different approaches and viewpoints to it. That is fine. Now, I think it's pretty silly to pretend like Cody Rhodes should be the guy to face Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 40. Like, you've been there, you've done that. The WWE, respectfully, last year made the right decision to not put the belt on Cody Rhodes because, frankly, the finish the story angle really doesn't make a whole lot of sense. If the first time he gets that shot at Mania, he wins it, it's not very compelling. It's not very Dusty-like, if you will. So, the number of people that are insisting that Cody has to face Roman again at WrestleMania and he has to beat him now I think is just a disconnection from reality. And this is before you even enter Dwayne Johnson into the mix. Is Cody Roman 2 really the most interesting story they could do for WrestleMania? And like, even if you do it, then where do you go? With both characters, frankly. Because Cody, now that he's finished the story, what else you got? Roman, his whole identity as a tribal chief and especially as the head of the table, revolves around that title. Then where do you go with him? So we can agree to disagree and you could just be wrong. That's fine. But it is clearly obvious. The more interesting, the more compelling, the more appropriate WrestleMania 40 night two main event is The Rock versus Roman Reigns for the title. I don't even know how this is an argument. I don't even know how people can sit there and say that this isn't the big money match, that this isn't the Mania main event match. How could you look at Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns? This is not even a slight to Cody Rhodes. Because frankly, if you put LA Knight in that thing, I'd be saying the same fucking thing pretty much. I'd be saying, you could do LA Knight versus Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 40, or you could do Dwayne The Rock Johnson versus Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 40. It'd be the same fucking thing. If I'm going to get the guy that kind of sort of rips off The Rock, then I might as well get the real fucking shebang bang No. Rock versus Roman is a WrestleMania 40 main event match, full stop, period. Well, Rock will be blown up with a woo-doo-doo is a fuck. It's about star power. It's about presence. It's about storytelling. And there are so many more interesting, compelling layers you could tell to a Rock and Roman story than a Cody versus Roman story. Like I said, people can think what they want about Cody needing to beat Roman in the main event at WrestleMania 40, and they're just wrong. Oh, opinions can't be wrong. Yes, they absolutely can be. They absolutely certainly can be. If somebody says, I think Dino Bravo was a really good wrestler, that's an invalid opinion. Bang, bang, smoke him if you got him. Why? Because he's dead. But I'm starting to see over the past week or so some truly dog shit <laughs> shifting here and entertaining of conversation about a triple threat match between Cody Rhodes, The Rock, and Roman Reigns for the title at WrestleMania 40. And I would think whether you are Team Cody at 40 to take on Roman, or you're like me, Team Rock at 40 to take on Roman, I would think we've got to be pretty united here and saying a triple threat match at Mania between the three of them would be just about the stupidest fucking thing that WWE could possibly do. Like, look, I wouldn't agree with doing Cody versus Roman, but at least it makes sense. 
at least I can say I understand it. I don't agree with it. It's wrong, but I get it. Interjecting Cody Rhodes into the middle of the Rock and Roman Reigns. It's like when they just had to shoehorn Daniel Bryan in a couple years ago because of his great political skill. Yeah, put me in there. Maybe I'll re-sign with you. Nope, I'm going to AEW anyways. Fuck you. What a what a hero. Brian Daniels said 2024, folks. America's greatest politician. But you remember how awkward that shit kind of was? Instead of being able to just focus on Edge and Roman Reigns, now you got to worry about Daniel Bryan. As a general rule, I don't like triple threat matches. I don't like triple threat stories. I think it's really stupid when WWE books themselves into this type of box. But even beyond that, just imagine how much of a square peg in a round hole Cody Rhodes is going to feel like. He's going to just feel like an interruption. He's going to feel like a distraction. He's going to feel like a layering on to an unnecessary degree. He's going to feel like a force into that story like he was fucking Charlotte Flair. Remember back, what was it, WrestleMania 35? Becky and Ronda was the story. Becky and Ronda was the match. And they just had to fucking put Charlotte Flair in that shit. And it ruined every goddamn thing. Five years later, this would be the same damn situation. Having Cody, Rock, and Roman would not work. You run the risk of potentially dividing your audience in another direction. You're going to have some Cody, some Rock, some Roman. Just no. The storytelling would be all discombobulated, disjointed. Like, the people that are suggesting this at this point, I feel like are almost suggesting it as a way to kind of troll even if they don't realize they're doing it because they're so intent on having Cody face Roman in the main event at 40. They say, if we're not going to get that, then we still want to try and force that to happen somehow. We're going to come up with the shittiest possible idea we can come up with. And by God, this would fucking be it. Well, you could have Roman fucking win, lose the belt and not get pinned. So you're going to have Cody Rhodes pin The Rock? And that's not even to say, well, are you going to have nobody pin The Rock? No, what I'm saying is, how fucking stupid would that be to have The Rock say whether he should sit at the head of the table, then you get to the moment, you get to the time where it's time for the cock to meet the VJJ and Roman's not involved in the decision at all? Roman doesn't pin Rock or Rock doesn't pin Roman? That does nothing to their fucking story. It makes everything a gargantuan, gigantic waste of fucking time. It would just be so awkward and so stupid. You either, I'll say this, if you're WWE, you must go all one way or all the other. Triple threat in this scenario, really stupid. Anybody suggesting it should not be taken seriously. Anybody saying this is the best possible outcome is just entirely disconnected from reality because it would arguably be the worst of the possible fucking outcomes you could have. It either needs to be the match that it should be, which is The Rock versus Roman Reigns, or it needs to be the match that the hardcore fans can sit there and jerk off to Cody Roman 2 at 40. It has to be either one of those two. Triple threat would be ridiculous and a detriment to all parties involved. And I promise you, when it got to that moment in time, nobody would feel truly satisfied with the outcome of that. 